action is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a very brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. Kick off next here on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray. Excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Brentford versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Can he take advantage? Timely intervention. And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Well, it's great to see a team playing with wingers in a 4-3-3, but they've got to be effective, both with their dribbling and their crosses. Otherwise, they'll become bit part players. Now, let's see what they can do here. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. He continues his run. Textbook defending inside the box. Kai Havertz. Good example of pressing without the ball. The Gunners have lost the ball for the lead here. And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener and now they have it. Well, it's lovely technique, as you can see. He just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Havertz and here's Saliba Kai Havertz and back with Havertz element of risk there but he's won the ball Collins Ayer, Nathan Collins, Mbermo. Well, now he's let that run out of play, and it will be a throw in here. Declan Rice. And Kai Havertz. And back with Havertz. And a chance to level it. Marcinelli. And now Havertz. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Johan Wiesa. Vitali Janelt. Here's Nurgard. Jensen. Janelt. Nathan Collins. Now passing moves like this will keep confidence levels up. A very effective challenge put in. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. Well, a textbook interception. Martin Odegaard. Declan Rice. Gabriel Martinelli. 
Arsenal have given it away. Johan Wiesa. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Back underway with Arsenal trying to find a route back into the match. And Kessia. And now Havertz, chance to finish. And look at that, a goal here for Arsenal, who now have got themselves on terms. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Havertz, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing, what a goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. An encouraging Arsenal move. Possession lost by Arsenal. Johan Wiesa. Fruitful looking attack. Might really be able to trouble them here. A chance now with the corner. Well, they've decided to make a change. It's a short one. Makes the move to the inside. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Martinelli. Now Zinchenko. Martinelli. Nketia. Chance to cross. Rice. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Johan Wiesa. Mbermo. In a decent position now. Making progress. And pull back. Oh, that's a fine looking pass. And into the last 20 minutes. Bukayo Saka. Arsenal being afforded too much room. Well, not away properly. Zinchenko. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Please meet Jennifer Bazet at the ticket office. Johan Wiesa. And Kessia. Good work from Brentford to win the ball back. Out of play and an Arsenal throw in forthcoming. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Ten minutes left for play. And forward go Arsenal. Do they have a late winning goal in their future? Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama.
Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Pinnock. Collins. Christopher Ayer. Nathan Collins. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. This could level it, and all square now, and you have to ask the question, is there time for either side to win it? Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and gone. Neither side holds the advantage.